there once was a tree. It was so massive. It held upon itself nine realms. And in one of those realms, there lived a man named Thor, the god of thunder, who wielded a hammer. And the hammer's name was Mjolnir. And it held within itself magic. And he held it with metal gloves. And he would one day use it in the fierce day of Ragnarok. Ragnarok would be a chain of terrible events. It would destroy everything. Everything upon the tree, the tree itself, and everything around it. Ultimately, it would be swallowed by the great serpent. During this event, Odin, the Allfather, leader of the community of gods, would be slain by Fenrir, he who was bound and betrayed. Loki, the trickster, had long since been stirring troubles among the gods, but his son Fenrir was an innocent. He only sought acceptance, but the gods feared him nonetheless. Ultimately, they betrayed him, and thus they sealed their own fate. When Fenrir was trapped, he bit off a hat. When he broke through his chains, his teeth tore through his grandfather's flesh. When he ultimately died, the serpent rose and devoured the world. Many believe the gods got what they deserved. Living on a world which was itself alive, and yet showing such disrespect for others who simply sought to live and be what they are. It was Odin who let these gods. It was Odin who communed with the tree. It was Odin who allowed the great serpent to grow and devour. And yet others consider them heroes. They revel in their glory, believing that the gods were just and right, and ignoring their mistakes. Fenrir was bound, alienated, and his grandfather allowed this to happen. Odin adopted Loki. Odin should have prevented the binding of Fenrir. Odin was the leader. Odin was ultimately responsible. And Odin died with the world being devoured around him.